The death toll in Nepal continues to rise after the devastating earthquake there over the weekend. And sadly, with the tragedy comes the scammers. Adam Schrager is here with our weekly call for action segment. It's, they never miss an opportunity, sad. No, do and they? It's sad that we even have to talk about something like this. We haven't heard of any examples just yet, but we always do. And you have to realize, first and foremost, it's hard to do charity work in a place as far away as Nepal. Not many nonprofits are in a position to help. But the scammers prey on the fact that you want to help. And we're not encouraging you by any means not to help. But before you do, here are some tips to think about. You should always ask for information on the charity asking for money. If the caller won't give it to you, you shouldn't donate. You should always ask for specifics on how the money is going to be used. If the caller won't give it, you shouldn't donate. If you're told the name of the charity but it doesn't sound really familiar, hang up. Do some research and find out if it's legitimate before you donate. And finally, please don't give any credit card information or bank information unless you have made the actual call to the charity. I would be leery of any call or email asking for money after this tragedy. Now, another topic that's been in the news lately is the new Apple Watch. Pre-orders are being sent out. They're not going to appear in stores, though, until this summer. Consumer experts are warning against emails promising a free watch or a dramatically reduced price for the Apple Watch as they are phishing expeditions that could lead to viruses on your computer. Of course, if it is too good to be true, probably is. Yep. There ain't no deal on an Apple Watch. No, <laughs> not right now, I don't think. Now, all last week we featured stories about identity theft. Yeah. And criminals are getting very creative trying to get your personal information, including now when you're trying to apply for a job. Yeah, it was something I hadn't really thought about until I got an email from one of our viewers, Mary, who wanted me to offer up some tips for people who are applying for jobs online. She says a lot of positions ask for personal information. So here's some tips from our friends at the Better Business Bureau for how to avoid fake job scams. You ought to be particularly careful if you see phrases like teleworking, okay, or immediate start, or no no experience needed is also one to be worried about. Wherever you are seeing the job online, go to a different website like Google or Bing and look it up. If you see the exact job in lots of other places, that is a red flag. Look up the company's website as well. Lots of those have jobs listed on their sites directly. And finally, if you're being asked for any personal information before an interview or even getting offered the job, that is a huge red flag. Do your research and stay safe online. Now, the spam report, we usually laugh at the email submissions, yeah. but this time we're laughing with the email submission. We have a joke of the day today. <laughs> That's a first for me. So it came as a pitch for commercial loans, literally included a bunch of jokes. Without further ado, today's spam report comes from Hank West at Five Star Commercial Funding. It starts out, joke du jour. My wife and I were browsing in a craft store when I noticed a display of flutes, dulcimers, and recorders. So I picked up a shiny instrument put it to my lips, and much to the amusement of other shoppers, twanged a few notes. <laughs> After watching from a distance, my wife came up and whispered, I hate to tell you this, honey, but you're playing a cheese slicer. <laughs> Are you interested in fast, easy fees with unsecured commercial loans? You will have a yes or no within three to five days. There are far more jokes, not all of them appropriate, I might add, for an afternoon newscast, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And for that matter, neither is this lender. A quick search of the New York State database finds no record of the company, even though its email says it's located in an iconic building just off Central Park on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. So please, just hit delete. And don't play the cheese slicer. If you have any <laughs> consumer problems you need help solving, our Call for Action volunteers will be here tomorrow morning to help from 11 to 1 every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can reach them 608-270-2833, or you can call for action anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. That's certainly a uni unique approach. Uh, never seen anything like it before. <laughs> There's some good jokes in there. I want to see the other ones. I'll, I'll share them to you off, off the grid. All right. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. We'll be right back.